Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to the 18th episode of Shadowrun Hong Kong. We exit the service elevator and step out in a dimly lit basement. You hear the sounds of alarms, nor shouting, but only a matter of time before Knight Errant catches up with you. If you remember, we repelled down the elevator shafts that we had broken down after turning off the gas and escaping with uh, this crew of four other Shadowrunners. The basement smells of mold and stale air. Faint vibrations run through the floor and walls every moment. In the walls every few moments. Evidence of the MTR trains passing nearby. That was closer than I'd liked. Phew. She hunches over, her hands on her knees as she pants excitedly. She strains as she calms down. Chalk it up to things I don't want to do again. Get gassed while trying to escape from the night errant. Huh. Buck up, Dizzy. At least your fists and feet could hurt those guys. I swear. I'm never running against the Ares again. Unless I've got my own assault cannon with me. Those six guns won't just cut it against the night errant. So spring for some APDS rounds, man. You don't need to overcompensate that much. So what now? We can march through the basement of the central MTR station. Let's take it slow. We don't want to know what's lurking down here. One step at a time. Let's move fast. We don't have much time before they figure out where we are. Before we head off to the unknown, what are we going to do about that prototype? You need it for a job, I need it for mine. You aren't really the only one who needs it. We have a job to finish, just like you. It's unfortunate that we can't both get what we want. That's how life is some days. You suck it up and move on. Come on, you're well established. You've got a network of contacts. The runner community knows how reliable you are. And I'm a little fish in a big pond. I blow this job, and I might not be able to work for Hong Kong again. You don't even need that prototype. Just give the GPS unit on it. It's not personal, it's just a job. Maybe for you. For me, it's life and death for my friends. Maybe me, too. I'm begging you, give me something to work for. You don't have to be in on this. You don't have to be like this. You do me a favor, I can pay you back in the future. Got my word on it. Rector leans over and whispers you. It's true that we only need the GPS unit. That said, I'm certain I could fix a proto prototype up so you could use it in the field. It's your call. Uh, keep the weapons for ourselves. Uh, do I want to help them? Yeah, let's help them. Maybe we can work something out. Thanks, I mean it. I don't like the idea of cheating on a job. We're on the same team here. We both have to live, and that work is the same environment. How about this? We take the laser, you keep the GPS. No one's got the wiser. That's not good enough for me. Well, crap. I guess you have to do what you think is right. Blah, he sighs, rubbing his hands over his face. I guess there's nothing to do but try for another job. I can't pretend to be happy about your decision, but no hard feelings, okay? I know how it goes. It's tough out here for everyone. Listen, you go ahead. I'll head the other way, so I'll be less conspicuous once we get out of the collapsed area. Keep safe. Okay, so I didn't give it to him. But they're just going to run in circles. Oh, there's another door there. Okay. This looks familiar. I have no idea where to go. At least there's no cover here, so we're not going to get attacked. I definitely want to search around, though, because there might be goodies to pick up. And I need some tea, because my throat is getting all groggly. Griggly, groggly. I drank all mine. Mine's empty. I guess I could put some water in the tea bag. That's kind of gross. Cold, under, steep tea. Blah. Yeah, there was nothing in there. That I saw, anyway. Uh, there's one of these things that says keep out, I bet. Piercing howl cuts through the silence of an empty station. It's distant, but probably won't be for long. Better move, better move quickly. He sniffs the air. Guard dogs. They're headed this way. Undoubtedly tracking us by scent. We need to keep moving. They'll be on us very quickly. Open door. Open locker. Hey, I'll take some dogs. Yes, take that. I'll take out dogs. I like fighting things. We're four minutes into the episode. That means we've got plenty of time for fighting. Geriatric controls? Have Rector power down the secondary systems. Yes, the geriatrics are turned off. You know, more old people. People. Night Errant Captain. Hey, what happened to the lights? These jokers in Central promised we'd have power down here. Beats me, this place is falling apart. I wouldn't be surprised if wiring is gone to pack of devil rats. This day is sooner over the better. Especially since I'm going to kill you. Or am I? What do we have? We got a captain, we got an enforcer, and we got a conjurer. Hmm. There's no cover over here at all. I think avoidance. 
Should we just avoid them? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'm definitely not going to avoid because I don't want these guys to aggro. Let's come back here. I can get good cover along this thing. Maybe. Hmm. Oh. So you can't actually... Okay, now I can. There is no good cover for these guys. How? Why is there no good cover? I guess they don't really want us to be in cover. Okay, gobbit. Alright, let's end the turn. Okay, you're ended. Hmm. Wish I could get a little bit closer without them seeing me. I guess I could always... Okay, that's a conjurer. We need to kill that conjurer right now. Is everyone available? Eighty-four percent. They are here. Conjurer will die. I should have done this too. Oh well. Good. Conjurer is dead. We don't want another goober fighting us. YOLO! Okay. Can't hit. Oh, we got hit! Very cool. Alright, there's the sniper. You're gonna go back and cover again. Shoot. <gasps> guard dogs! Arf, arf, arf! I should've just YOLO'd out of here and ran. There's three, four guard dogs. Oh boy. Blitz. Not quite. Yeah, that's an AoE. Whatever. They're gonna run in pretty soon. Okay. I don't have much AoE at all. I'm gonna kill this guy. I mean, straight up murder his life off. Man, guard dogs are a captain. These guys aren't in. Come up here. I think I can still do my aim shot. I can. Alright. Sixty one percent. I guess I'll go after this. 56. Hit him. One less AP. Come on. I hope all these guys group up, because then I can grenade them all. Looks like they are doing it. Blitz has got grenades for days. It's a good shot. Relatively good shot. Advanced med kits. All right. The guard dogs out. Or you really can't shoot that guard dog. Oh, they don't got the right thing selected. Maybe not. What? That's very strange. Just go to someone else here. Oh wow, that's a good hit. Quickness and strength for one turn. Just want to shoot them. I can't shoot them. Haha. 
good work. Can you attack this guy? These dogs are gonna be nasty. Yes, we got a hit. It misses all for days. Oh, he's gonna oh he's gonna eat him. Oh, and he's damaging the armor. Armor is broken. Oh, he's asleep too. Okay. Did I just hit? I think I did. Oh, you missed. Okay, you've got the grenade launcher. This is this is so stupid. I took him down. Yeah, we took one dog out. <laughs> just, oh yeah, attack him. He's the one you really want to kill. Oh, they're gonna sleep him too. Okay. Switch back to the pistol. Let's take out what we can. Or nothing. Oh yeah, run around. Thank you. Missed him again. How can you miss someone who's sleep? Oh boy, that's not cool. Okay. I should have just run in and shot him. Cool, he's down. Ouch! No! No, he's dead! He actually died! Oh, not cool. I should have healed him up, I guess. Wow, he's, he's gone, like MIA. I wonder if he respawns, because there's some sort of respawn mechanism in the game. I need to use... Uh, we'll have to see. Hopefully he can respawn. How is your... How are you doing for hit points? Why can I not tell? 19. I need you. Okay. Activate. What's this one? All right, hit peeled up. Oh boy, it's gonna be nasty here. Gotta take these guys out too now. Okay, I don't know what to do with you. Yes, we'll bring you up to here. No, oh, shoot. Wanted to bring you up to here. Hopefully they're not in combat. Let's end that turn. Okay, we're not. I don't have any more grenades. Spray and pray, baby. Spray and pray. Okay, it's kind of nice. I'm gonna stay here for right now. Uh, yeah, let's stay here. And a lobby old grenade up here. Ah, try to anyway. Oh my, that's that's amazing. That's really cute. Good job. Hopefully, you can take some hits or pretend some hits. Oh, no way! We need to get rid of him right now. Really? Okay. Good shot. Didn't quite kill it. Switch over. Aim shot. No. 
There, finally. Yes, attack him. Both of you do it, because that's really cool and stuff. I'd appreciate that to happen. We're just going all melee mode now. We can do this. Thirty one percent chance to hit. It's gotta be a range issue. Get a little closer. Ow. Miss, come on. Really? Good one. Didn't quite kill it. There it is. Man, is there nothing else to loot in here? Open door. I'm glad those turrets didn't turn on. Trans Translation? Is that what it said? Transition, I think it said. Oh, my phone is blinking. I got a new email. Oh boy. As you move through the MTR station, several figures move to interrupt you in advance. The leader is obvious, a hulking brute of a troll. He cradles a heavy assault rifle and crook of his cyber arm. He reeks of stale cigarettes and casual brutality. The name is Steel Tooth, is stenciled across his flak vest beneath his jacket. Eyes narrow as you approach. That's far enough, you punk. Crews had a long night. Nerves are a little raw, you know? And crunching in somebody's face always brightens my mood. Let me speak in small words so you don't misunderstand. Give me the prototype laser. We're going to kill you. So hard your ancestors will feel it. That's the best insult you could come up with? You think you're so smart. Let's see how smart you are with a bullet in your skull. His voice is gravel on sheet. I believe you are more than capable of killing us, Troll and his allies. Should I should the situation escalate, I would not be particularly concerned about the chances of survival. You really think so, zombie? You might be right, maybe not. Either way, you just signed up to be the first target. Right. Cigarettes done, which means time to hand over the prototype now. We had to ditch it back in those caves. K.E. is right behind us. Nobody dumps payday like that, not unless you're in another chance. The guard dog's following us by scent, and the laser is a tracking device on it. Oh, great. It might have worked. That guy's got a big thing in his arms. Would you... How did... Really? That's really cute. <laughs> I need a... Pick on the mage over here. Except I'm totally not in cover, which is terrible. We'll just kill it. You're gonna go after Steel Tooth. Oh man, Steel Tooth's got a ton of hit points. Oh, and dead. Right in the deadness. Okay, we're going mono e mono o melee o melee here, huh? Really? That's the best you could come up with? Nah! Get wrecked. Okay, melee is pretty powerful. That is for sure. He's bleeding. He's gonna go far away in the one zone. <laughs> oh, where are you going? You're gonna go hide in the corner? When my melee guys come up and stab you in the back? Baboonya! Do they have anything on them that can loot? I don't think so. I really hope Ractor gets uh, rezzed. Continue. You're about to leave the station and go to Hoyt. Uh, maybe. The MTR train pulls away from the station and become lost in the crowd. Just another face traveling from central towards Kaloon. Every second puts a blessed distance between you and the hornet's nest of King Errant soldiers you've left in your wake. The data planted on the GPS module in your possession, it seems that Ares Asia will place the blame 
on you for the run of the doorstep of the Red Dragon Association. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Let's see what happens. I'm not really looking forward to this. I feel like there's going to be a lot of bad stuff going on. Especially if Racket doesn't come back. Ratchet, or whatever his name is, doesn't come back alive. Yeah, and cold water doesn't quite do it for my throat either. I need something warm. Will you guys hold on for three minutes while I go nuke some more water? Ooh, a sniping laser. Take. Stash. Okay. Payment for the runs. Go back to the bay. Help. Uh, okay. Now, here's the deal. Meet the friend. Reclaim. Let's go check out if our brother is in the thingy. Okay, objective added. I hope he's in the basement. Might be a permadeath situation. I didn't really like him anyway. Yeah, it was a little, little cluttered, but I don't want to see someone die because that would inter Okay. You enter the trailer, find your crew gathered together waiting for you. Isabel has her head buried in her PDA. The rest of you stand watching her, trying to be patient. Did someone call a crew meeting? I was told I'm the one who called crew. What's going on? You look like you have someone to tell the class. I've been doing my homework on Josephine Sang and Sang Mechanical Services. Is that Rector right there? I think it is. <clears throat> you found something? Oh yeah, I found something, all right. In 2011, Sang Mechanical Services was a D-level core floundering in the shallow of Hong Kong corporate pool. So, it's 2015 now. I need to go invest in these guys if they're going to be the big, big dogs. Uh, she married into the family... Josephine thought big. She conceived a, of a massive project that would catapult TMS into big time. Something she called a prosperity project. Prosperity? That's what Raymond was mumbling about. What does that have to do with Raymond? What is the prosperity project? Once upon a time in the 1900s, a walled city was a densely populated slum. Something like 30,000 people crammed into six and a half acres. Wait, I've heard of this before. It's terrible. That's today's walled city. The second walled city. The First World City started life well over 100 years ago and lasted through both World Wars and almost through the Awakening. It was torn down in 1994 when the government had finally had enough. It had become such a haven for criminals that the cops would only enter in enlarged, well-armed groups. Sounds familiar? In 2021, Josephine Sane proposed a vision for a new type of low-income housing project, the Prosperity Project, a self-contained, low-cost walking neighborhood for the poor, but on a grand scale. Prosperity Project would give Hong Kong's poor and a flood of refugees pouring into the country a place that they could call their own. Something that felt more permanent than the sprawling tent city that was spontaneously sprang up in the first walled city was demolished. The Prosperity Project would replace the tent city and would make a symbolically built on the site of an old walled city, a place of dignity where prosperity begins. The apartments weren't much bigger than a space you'd get in your average coffin motel, but they were built around plazas, I was going to say pizza, and marketplaces that are contained goods and services catering to the poor. The government forgot the lessons of the, of the last walled city. They loved the idea of containing the refugees and the poor in only densely populated blocks. It kept them out of the public eye. Securing a contract catapulted Sang Mechanical Services' fortunes ahead. It eventually put Josephine Sang into executive council. One slum made her rich? Apparently. That was also the beginning of a series of lucrative building contracts that propelled the TMS into a big time. Where's Raymond come into all this? Raymond Black doesn't come into it at all, but Edward Sang does. Edward? That's your foster father's real name. Uh-huh. Raymond Black was actually Edmund Sang, the only son of Josephine Sang and her late husband, Breakwater Sang. Edward was in charge of laying the groundwork for the walled city, excavation of utilities, running into power lines, sewage, that kind of thing. So our foster grandmother is trying to kill us. It looks that way, yeah. Ractor came back. Wait, it doesn't make any sense. Remember that massive gray water leak that flooded the basement back in 48? Yeah, remember what happened to Miss Maloney? You mean her feet? Swelled up three times the normal size, yeah. Bringing back that memory. But to think of it, did Raymond have any idea how to fix it? No. Ray didn't know the first thing about sewer lines. He hired a small army of plumbers. Probably paid them double what the job was worth to fix the thing, and it took almost two months to get the leak under control. So Josephine put him in charge? I don't think Raymond had anything to do with the utilities in the wall city. 
So, if the man was not in charge of utilities for the project, what was he doing down there? I don't know, but Edward Sang disappeared from public eye shortly after Prosperity was completed, around 2031. At the time, he moved to Seattle, around seven years before he found us. What happened to the walled city? And what would make Raymond want to go back there after all these years? I don't know, but I intend to find out. Oh, very cool. More karma is gained? Our dude did not die. Totally, he was resurrected. There's some sort of, I forget what it's called, there's like two different companies that resurrect you if you die. Uh, resurrect your teammates, the NPCs, but not your own character. So if your own character dies, then it's uh, basically game over. Blue, cool blue screens, workstation, new messages. Let's see, out of town. I'm not in the hallway right now, don't bother coming to see me. We'll talk when I return. Please continue with our business ventures until then. Data retrieval. Kindly Chang, and hope you're enjoying your newfound success in the shadows. We've got another job for you, one that you can put us lucrative indeed. Contact employee at the Eastern Tiger Corporation. He needs you to steal some research data of biological samples from his employer. Cool, we'll do that. Fortunately, right, he's got a conscious stupid man. Luckily for us, he's willing to pay to have his conscious assunged, assunged, whatever that is. Uh, la, 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 la. Wright's project was apparently quite horrible. Experiments on living children, total disregard for biomedical ethics or safety. And when Wright raised our concerns, he was taken off the project. He decided to step outside the bounds of the law and expose the wrongdoings to the world. The snake, you see, is that his wife and child live in Seoul. Not quite the heart of Eastern Tiger's power, but close enough. Afraid he, if he releases information to himself, he'll be taken prisoner and used for leverage. Idiot should have thought of that before. Not our problem. The samples of data are currently in the Eastern Tiger cargo ship. Okay, take the run. I'll grab the stuff. I've let him know you're ready to go. Go back. Okay, we need a jobs directory, and claim payment. Ah, message pops up, 2,000 new yen. Perfect. Well done. Pending jobs, retrieve notes on completed jobs, and walk away. Okay, so, looks like we need to travel, seal, steal the data in the tissue. We can talk to these guys, tell them, ask them how their last run was. We'll do that. Hey, Duncan. What's happening, brother? What do you think of the last run? Well, wasn't on the last run, Blitz. Oh, yeah. Duh. Let's talk later. <laughs> herp a derp a derp. Blitz a derp a derp. It's like, Duncan, how'd you like the last run? And he's like, I don't know, brother. I've been sitting here doing absolutely nothing. Let's talk to this guy. What's his name? Ractor. Ah, oh, my friend. You've done an admirable job of killing me. An admirable job indeed. I've only incorporated the technology that you recovered, my stolen tech, into a new chassis that I'm fabricating for Kochi. I think that's Ko Kochi. You move real quick. Glad to be of help. You will be, my friend. Very glad indeed. <laughs> Next time we take it into the field, you can expect Kochi's combat effectiveness considerably improved. He has become truly deathless. Just as his namesake was in the legends. When he takes damage, he will mend himself right before your eyes. That sounds incredible. Can't wait to see it in action. Nor will I. Nor can I. Alright. He didn't seem no worse for the wear after we killed him. Hey, buddy. What's this? Box of mement mementos. Cabin is a far better state than it was previously. The heat of the has been adjusted down and the ventilation restored. A box of junk and parts have been stacked and neatly arranged. I choose small amount of personal gears tucked away in a corner. There's a small mat in the center of the cabin that looks like it doubles as both a rug and a sleeping pad. He is seated on a lotus position, eyes closed, fingertips rest on the braille reader that is plugged into his PDA, a device that fills the room with a soft clicking from the pin combination. As you approach, he lifts his hand to read his face. Hello again, Blitz. Is there something I can assist you with? Carve like looks like you've carved out a nice spot, if you say so. I doubt it'll be suitable for others, but I do not require much in the way of space, and I have few possessions. So long as I have a quiet area, which I can sit and relax, I am happy. What do you want to discuss? That's about the last run. A good run, I think. Unexpected complications, perhaps, like a guy dying, but we are told it was quite successful. Uh, with any luck, the Red Dragons will be paid a visit on Night Errand Security, and soon. Despite the other team, we sowed enough chaos that I doubt Ares will realize our deception. What's more, we managed to acquire a powerful and unique weapon. While a single weapon is unlikely to give us overwhelming advantage, I will gladly take an edge. I can on future runs. A uh, few would expect a team of Shadowrunners to be so well equipped as a, and has an exceptional high energy laser. Is there anything else? What are you reading? Uh, let's see. It's called uh, pfft, Hidden Leaves, written by Yamato Cannon. As a treaty on what it means to be a samurai. 
and how should one serve one's lord? Required reading for the Red Seven, right? Unsurprisingly. Looking for a hidden meaning? I haven't memorized, but sometimes I have found reading the words reveals new meanings, yes. I may have left my old life behind, but my old habits are the hardest to shake. The author is, has a central thesis. When there is a question of life or death, I always choose death. Throw oneself under a fray and no re resignations. And act on an instinct alone. My current state of affairs speaks the truth of this more robustly than any lesson in a dojo. Hmm. This doesn't sound too differently than the Redmond Burns. Truly. I have fought a few Shadowrunners in my time, and I have to admit that they have always proven more tenacious opponent than corporate soldiers have. On the street, it's life or death. You get a lot of practice. And I'm not surprised at the prowess of those I have encountered. Soldiers train, but really against real opposition. Hmm. Sounds like a dangerous path to walk. The path of the samurai. I'm certain it is. What choice do I have? Without a cure for my condition, all that I'll be able to do is embrace the reality of what I've become. It does not seem like much of a choice at all to me. This guy reminds me of a Legion a little bit from Mass Effect. Uh, what does he say about a master of samurai like you? Seven times down, eight times up. More specifically, if a samurai has not become a ronin at least seven times, then he has not truly lived as a samurai. Those are difficult times, however. I was common for a samurai to fall out of favor with their lord and be turned loose to wander. For com company men like myself, it's a choice to serve or die. Is there anything else you'd like to discuss? Uh, see that I guide you. All right, we're gonna we're gonna call it an episode there. We can go to sleep again. I think we'll go to sleep, and um, I think I can save it right here. We'll go to sleep, and then hopefully we can go back in. We have some more money. We have 14 talent points. Let's use these up because those are awesome. I like spending karma. We got 14 of them too. That's that's really cool. Uh, so we can do more body and barrage of spurs. Uh, exceed racial minimums. Nah. We can do quickness. Range combat increase again. I'm kind of kind of irked. I took the SMG. The rifle seems kind of fun. The shotgun seems kind of fun too. Combat uh, strength strength do. Oh, we need the close combat, right? That's the the arm stabby thing. I think it's not unarmed because that's like kicky kicky and and more kicky. We don't want ranged weapons. Let's do strength. So that'd be nine. What's this do? Overwatch? Meh. So that'd be nine. I could do that one. It'd be 13. Yeah, I don't have any melee weapons. I just have the, the bionics or whatever they're called. Cyberware. I could do... And I have six left over I can put in, in here. Plus five chance to hit with cyber weapons. Maybe I'd be better off putting it in there first. Let's revert. I like that better. I like that even better. Plus one additional essence. I don't need that one yet. Okay. I still have nine points remaining. I could keep going up here. Or I could do more quickness and dodge. Quickness is reduced chance to be hit. Dodge reduces the chance to be hit by physical attacks. That's cool. Range combat. I, I like that. The quickness is good there. Uh, what did I take? I took one point here in this. It gives me five percent chance to hit with all cyber weapons okay we'll confirm that all right so that's going to do it guys we've got 2070 more credits and uh that's the end of the episode so thanks for watching and keep your stick on the ice we'll catch you next time <laughs>